smelts, you know how small they are? And I'm happy to report today that no more left. <laughs> the first fight that will be televised uh, by HBO or will be uh, the uh, junior welterweight uh, interim, WBA interim junior welterweight title fight. And it matches the challenger who has been a staple of top rank boxing since he signed a professional contract, Jose Benavides, whose record now is 21 wins, no defeats, 15 knockouts, He's from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, he's a terrific fighter, and I'm going to bring him up now, and then I'll call my friend Oscar De La Hora, uh, who's the promoter of the champion, uh, Mauricio Herrera, who will introduce Mauricio. So first, please welcome the top-ranked challenger, Jose Benavides. Happy holidays, everyone. Uh, first off, I want to thank God, Barbaron, for uh, giving me this opportunity. My team, I've had a great team. I've had a great camp up in Big Bear. We, we've, been, we've been getting ready for this fight. And a Saturday night, you guys are going to see a new, uh, a new champion. I feel great. I feel ready, and I'm ready to rock and roll Saturday night. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. It's amazing. Jose, when you first started, you were about half the size that you are now. They really, really grow on you. It's really a pleasure to introduce to you Oscar De La Hoya, the head of Golden Boy Promotions. Uh, Oscar, as you know, fought most of his career under the banner of top rank. He was a wonderful fighter, uh, a great champion, a great credit to the sport, and I'm really so delighted that he is now devoting himself absolutely full time uh, to promoting uh, fights uh, and events uh, in boxing because he is somebody that the sport really looks up to and uh, uh, there will be great things uh, that Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy will be doing in the future. So, Oscar, come on up and introduce me. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you, Bob. Thank you very, very much. It, it really is an honor, Bob, to be next to you and because you're, you're a person who has been doing this for more than what 40 years 45 years yeah 48 and 48 years i mean this is a person that i really look up to because you know now that i'm a promoter what better person uh than bob Arum to to learn the ropes and, and and learn how to promote and take these these fighters careers you know and 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 uh and, and watch the progression of 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 you know, their, 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 their boxing careers and, 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 and help them grow as a fighter and, and build their careers. It's, it really is a pleasure for me to, um, and an honor because, look, Bob Arum is, Bob Arum, he's, 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 like, he's like an icon. He's like, he's like this person who, who we all have to admire for what he's done for boxing is incredible. He's put up some amazing fights. And, uh, you know, he has, he has now uh, um, Todd, Todd DeBuff who's doing, you know, a lot, a lot of work and d doing the same thing, putting up great fights and running the business. And so it really is admirable. And, and for me, personally, as, as a young promoter, um, I, I um, you know, I, I, I learn from everything that you've done. So, so thank you very much on behalf of Golden Boy Promotions um, for paving the way and continuing and for many more years to pave the way um, on how it's done. Um, but I, I do have to say, Bob, I do have to say, I actually came here because I want to take a picture with the top rank star. <laughs> uh, Bob. 
Come on, Bob. Was this your idea, Bob? Talk about, yeah. Make sure you send it to Millie. <laughs> We're actually starting the golden girl, the, the golden boy girls. That's yeah, it pays off the uh, the book there. But on a serious note, um, first of all, thank you HBO. Thank you very much uh, for this opportunity. Um, it really is a pleasure to be working uh, with you guys, and and bringing bringing the best of the best um, to all the fans out there. You know, when I say. When I say that we're going to give the best fights to the fans, I really mean it. And I'm glad um, that Top Rank has always been on the same page, has always had that same mentality. And it's really a pleasure to be working with other promoters and just making the best fights happen for the fans. That's, that's, that's priority, the fans. So um, it really is my pleasure to be working here on this great card. Thank you at the Cosmopolitan. Thank you for the opportunity. You have a beautiful hotel. Uh, we've, we've staged uh, some fights here, and we've always had a wonderful, wonder, uh, wonderful experience. Fader Banucci, uh, Vice President of uh, Entertainment of the uh, Cosmopolitan, thank you very much for, for, for your hospitality. Peter Nelson, HBO, thank you. Uh, thank you for always keeping that door uh, wide open uh, at HBO. Mauricio Herrera. Now, Mauricio Herrera is a fighter who, I don't know how many of you know when he fought uh, Provotnikov. I mean, Mauricio Herrera beat Provotnikov, okay? Mauricio Herrera, Mauricio Herrera went up against probably the best 140 pounder in the division in Danny Garcia. If you all remember that fight, I think we did a poll on, on Ring Magazine, uh, uh, on ringtv.com, and 95% of the voters, which were thousands, uh, said that uh, Mauricio Herrera won that fight hands down. So we're, 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 we're having, we're witnessing here a fighter who, as my partner would like to call, Bernard Hopkins, uh, a throwback, you know, crafty, experienced, um, rejuvenated fighter, you know, who's hungry, who loves what he does, and he has fun doing it. Now, those fighters who have fun doing it in the ring, wow, they're dangerous. And that's what Mauricio Herrera is. He's very tricky, tricky dangerous, because he can take you to the deep waters. Ooh, boy. Be careful. And he knows how to swim. He can swim, right? You go deep waters and wow, be careful. So it's, it's going to be a great fight because Benavides is a crafty, good fighter um, who's, who's, who has a great record. He's growing, he's learning, he's building. And this is, this is, a, this is a great fight. A great, great fight. It's going to be a really good fight. So um, it's just these types of fights that um, I'm really looking forward to uh, in the future uh, of, of putting together with Bob and with Top Rank. So uh, this is what boxing should, should, should be. This is what the sport should be. And, um, and this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. So it is my pleasure to introduce you with a record of 21 and 4, 7 knockouts. He's a WBA interim super lightweight world champion out of Riverside, California, Mauricio El Maestro Herrera. Oh, thank you guys for having me here. And I um, want to thank Oscar for all the stuff he just said. Um, Thank both promoters for finally, you know, putting something together. And um, I just want to say, you know, I had a good year. Um, uh, thanks to Oscar, now signing with Oscar. Um, I, I'm just happier now, you know. Uh, train happy. And um, I'm still getting the best fights and the tough fights out there. Uh, Benavides is a tough kid, young, prospect, hungry. You know, I'm real hungry too. We're both hungry. That's going to make it a great fight. Um, I just got a belt, the interim title in March. It's a small belt, but before that, the history of my career you know, has, been, has been tough. I've been fighting the tough guys, taking a lot of punishment, going in wars, and um, 
I went through hell to get where I'm at. And it may be a small title now, and go, I went through hell to get it, and it's not gonna be easy for Benavides to come and just take that. Uh, it's a lot of work behind that small belt, but it's, um, it's better, it's a sign that I'm gonna go up for bigger things, get that world title, and bring it home. So uh, I gotta get past Benavides. He's a tough kid, not taking him lightly, but you're gonna see a great show. December 13th, be there, don't miss it. Thank you.